But you were born with mischief in your eyes and fire in your veins. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to top five things that are on my bookshelf that aren't books. If you can't tell, I have taken down everything that I am putting in this video. So, because some of these are collections, uh, I'm going to show you all of them, but I will say at the start which collection they are. So I have a couple singular things first. The first being My Little Adipose uh, Stress Ball, uh, which I don't use as a stress ball. I just have him because he was the first Doctor Who thing I ever bought myself because I was obsessed with the adipose. They are my favorite baddies other than the Weeping Angels. So when I saw him, I had to buy him. And he's a little baby. And he sits right on this bookshelf behind all of my Funko Pops that are sitting right next to me now. After ha that, I have this little penguin that Bella's mom got me um, because she knew I loved the color purple. My room is purple. Um, so she bought me this, and he sits on my middle dresser as well. And I my middle dresser. What? My middle bookshelf as well. And yes, he's adorable. And, you know, a lot of my collections aren't really on my bookshelf. So, yeah, I have so many other things I could show you, but these are my bookshelf ones. After that... I have my two little amiibos. I have Zelda and I have Link. Um, because I don't really play a lot of Nintendo games that require amiibos. I think the only one I have right now is Hyrule Warriors. So obviously I have Zelda and Link for those. But um, I don't really play a lot of, you know, Mario Kart or Mario Party or Smash Brothers. I'm mostly single player games and so... I don't have a lot that require Amiibos, but uh, I collected these even before I got my Wii U because I just had to have Zelda and Link, if you didn't know. I am an obsessed Legend of Zelda fan. That is where this tattoo comes from. Um, so these were important for me to have, so my mom got them for me for Christmas. And then she also proceeded to get me a Wii U, so there we go. Yeah. Let's get into this big one now, and that is my collection of Funko Pops. Um, I actually do have two others that don't go on my bookshelf. I have the Beedu Minion from Despicable Me 2. Uh, he's called the Fire Alarm Minion, but I have always known him as Beedu, Beedu, Beedu. And then I also have Dancing Baby Groot, but, that, but he actually lives out in the living room because he is also my mom's favorite character from Guardians of the Galaxy, so he lives out in our living room instead of in my room. So on top of that, I also have Legolas from Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit, but this is obviously The Hobbit one because I don't know if they, they have, but I don't think I have any of the actual Lord of the Rings ones yet. Ah, he fell. After that, I have Tyrion Lannister from Game of Thrones. Because why not? I also have my only wrestling one, which is CM Punk, because... Hello, Callie. <laughs> because he was honestly my only favorite wrestler, and when he left, I stopped watching WWE. Um... But I still really like CM Punk, and I will definitely watch UA UFC when he uh, debuts. I don't know if he has yet, because I really haven't been paying attention. I also have Gandalf from Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit. Khal Drogo from Game of Thrones. Daenerys Targaryen from Game of Thrones. A lot of these are Game of Thrones Funko Pops because I could get away with buying them. I have Drogon from Game of Thrones. I have the giant one, which is, I think he is pronounced Viserion. 
um, from Game of Thrones, but he is my biggest Funko Pop, and yeah, he will only be rivaled by the TARDIS when I finally get it. I also have Daryl Dixon from The Walking Dead because I have watched the original Walking Dead series. I have not watched Fear the Walking Dead. I kind of, by that point, was kind of off The Walking Dead. Um, didn't want to watch it, so. But Daryl Dixon was always my favorite character. Danny fell. I also have... Jon Snow from Game of Thrones. This is his original one from Series 1. I have not gotten the Series 2 Jon Snow yet. I also have Thorin Oakenshield from The Hobbit. And then I have my three babies, which is my little adipose from Doctor Who, my weeping angel from Doctor Who, and my... Loki bobblehead from Thor and the Avengers because Loki is amazing. And the final thing I have is my little tiny collection of um, Minecraft stuff. I actually have some Hobbit stuff up there, but they're really little and they're honestly, I got them as a gift and I was like, I like them, but these I have bought myself, so yeah. First, I have a little wolf keychain that I don't even put as a keychain because he sits on my dresser. Or, er, bookshelf! All of these things before they were on my bookshelves were on my dresser that sits over here, so that's why I'm saying that. But before I got my bookshelves, I didn't really have a spot for these. I also have the female avatar called Alex. Um, she's probably my least favorite of all of these, but, you know, I bought those mystery packs and she's one of the ones I got. I also have a little flaming zombie. And I have a TNT block, which is pretty cool. It's completely designed. And a little thing of gunpowder from what my next one is. And then this one is my baby. This is what I just got yesterday, actually. I'm recording this on the 4th of October, but I got this yesterday, and that is my little creeper! Hello! Hello! What's up, guys? <laughs> so, yes, my little creeper. I love him, and I bought him with my own money, and I was very proud of myself, and I love him. And yes, I am an obsessed Minecraft fangirl. I am planning on getting a diamond pickaxe tattooed on me, as well as probably a creeper. Like, a really badass creeper. On my nerd leg. My left leg is my nerd leg, as seen by my Triforce tattoo that is currently upside down. <laughs> but... That is all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a huge thumbs up, and I'll see you guys all in my next one. Bye, everyone. Cause you were born with mischief in your